Hello friends, I have always been passionate about the cause of Balochistan. Now with the Indian Prime Minister coming out in open support of Balochistan, it's a paradigm shift as far as Indian policy towards Balochistan in reference to Pakistan is concerned. It should be noted that Balochistan constitutes 46% of the total geographical area of current Pakistan. But it has always been a very neglected and discriminated area. Balochistan is rich in minerals, it's fertile, it provides natural gas to Pakistan and the Gwadar, air, uh, the Gwadar port, seaport is known to everyone. It has a strategic importance. Yet, Balochistan has always been subjected to discrimination by Pakistani authorities. Human rights violations are blatant. It should be noted that Balochistan was not a part of Pakistan at the time of partition of India. Like several areas, Britishers left it to themselves to either be a part of the any, any country or just be independent. The Khan of Kalat, which constituted the major portion of Balochistan at that point, never wanted to be a part, to be a part of Pakistan. In fact, the history tells us that he wanted to accede to India, but that never happened due to short-term vision of Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru. But anyway, that is a bygone opportunity, and it's a missed opportunity. Coming back to this, but Jinnah ensured that by deceit and manipulations, Balochistan became part of Pakistan, which of course happened several months after the independence. But Balochistan people, Balochistanis have always been very vocal about their own identity, about their own cultural identity as well as their area. That is why Balochistan has never felt to be a part of Pakistan. Baloch leaders have tried to reach out to India and the US in the last several decades. But since they, the population is thin, they, they could never achieve that critical mass and voice to reach out to the world. Now with Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi coming out in open sport, that means a lot. That means a lot to us Indians who have been supporting this cause also. So it's time that we become, we amplify the, the voice of the Baloch people, their brothers and sisters, and hope that Balochistan becomes an independent nation soon. Also, what could be the next step? We urge the government of India that, like Tibet, Indian government should accept, should recognize an in-exile government of Balochistan and should provide place to the Balochistan government in India itself so that they can work more in tandem with other parts of the world, other parties to the world and achieve their mission. Thank you very much and Jai Hind.